Good afternoon and welcome to another Citroen video, my 2008 Citroen C4 Grand Picasso and this time we're going to tackle the MOT failures. I'm sure you're wondering why it's not in the garage. It's simple really because the silica won't start. So I'm going to have to work on it outside and you might be able to see it just, just behind silica. So I'll go through what it's failed on and then we'll uh, tackle all these issues. So here's a failure sheet. I actually posted it up at the time on, on my Twitter and Instagram. But I'll go through it anyway. So we have a coil spring fractured or broken off side front. They were both replaced nearly three years ago. So they've not lasted, that just goes to show how shit the roads are around here and the second one shock absorbers insecurely attached near side front suspension leg to hub insecure stroke loose and that will be the, will be in the cause of the knock on the previous video I did there's a couple of 18mm bolts, they pro probably worked a bit loose and that that's what that uh, knocking noise was Anyway, moving on, we have a uh, brake cable damage, the main handbrake cable frayed. And um, brake cable damage, near side handbrake cable frayed. So, there's uh, three handbrake cables. Obviously, two of them are uh, on the way out. So, I'm going to replace a whole lot. I've, all, I've got them from the Citroen dealer. I've also got some new coil springs. So, once we get all those parts fitted, that's all the failure points dealt with. So, I'm going to start with this side, the offside driver side, or the right hand side. The, sitting in the driver's seat or in the UK because it's right hand drive it's the driver's side so we'll take that one off and we'll see what that's like I'm not I'm not going to go through it all uh, I've done that on previous videos where you can uh, where I've took you got to take wipers and scuttle off just to get to to top note and then I've got to take these uh, the brilliant roll bar drop links off they'll be a pig to do or hopefully uh, but I fit me a bigger bigger air hose to impact so impact should have a bit more uh, oof so I'll do all this off camera and I'll come back to you when I've got the strut out I've managed to get the, the strut off and it's obvious what the problem is it's broken off the end of the spring it's broken off and that's funny enough I, I was driving along one day on my way home from work and I thought I heard something fall off and that's where it'll be. So I've got some new springs. <coughs> I'll just show you. Here we go. I've got these from uh, Euro Car Parts. I'm just over 100 quid for a pair. Obviously, if you've got to replace one side, you've got to do it the other side as well. So get spring compressors on there. And then we can get this spring swapped out. And I'll do. I'll do it off camera because I've. Uh, I think I've shown that before as well. So it's next day and rain stopped play. And I had other things to do, but I don't know if you can tell actually from here. And it, Tester's even marked it with this yellow yellow marking stuff. I mean, you can see that gap in there. I could probably... If I move that about, you can feel it. So when I put this back together, it's going to get some thread lock on it. So it's all got to come off anyway to get this strut out. I managed to get the, uh, the drop link out without too much trouble because I'd. Uh, I put some white grease on it when I'd uh, changed them. When I did the uh, sorted the rattling out, so I've loosened the top nut. So I just got to take these bolts out, and then the, the strut will come out, and I can get that spring changed. So I've got it all buttoned up at this end. I've just got the, the top nut to do, but if you feel that, look, at, there's no movement at all. It's it's done up, and there's locked tight on the thread. So. That's not going anywhere, so I'll just finish buttoning this up and then we'll move on to handbrake cables. So I've got the wheels off that side and that side we're up on axle stands for safety and the front wheels are chopped, so just to give it a quick, a quick test. No, that's not going anywhere, so we're safe and I will show you how to release the parking brake. So Put your foot on the heart foot brake 
all that down and until you hear that sound and turn on the ignition foot on the brake and that's handbrake released there we go it's released so I can turn the ignition off and it won't engage the handbrake and that's how you release the handbrake on these so I'm going to start with the right hand one so I just need to release this cable from here at this end just to show how to release it out of it I mean the worst, the worst comes to the worst I could just cut this off. <sighs> Alright, we're getting somewhere now, that's out at this end. Just unclip this. And then I need to go underneath. So to get the other end out, we've got this nipple, we just want to do it at this end and then we just need to pull the pull it out here we should just be able to pull this out and that should be our right hand handbrake cable freed off so that's one down two to go so we've got our brand new cables here I brought from a local dealer, you can tell which dealer I bought it from and we've got this is the main handbrake cable and that'll be a little bit more complicated to fit which involves uh, taking out the uh, front passenger seat but we'll get to cross that bridge when we get to it now these are your left and right hand ones and as you can tell it's in French but I know the French for left and right so uh, French for left is gauche, G for gauche, that's, so that's the left one. And the French for right is droite, which, so D for droite. So this is our, our right hand handbrake cable. Now if we compare it to the old one, we can see it matches. So I'll put this one off, on, and as I say, refitting is the reverse of removal. I've just pulled this left one out. There's nothing wrong with it. I think I know why <coughs> Nigel the MOT tester thought it was the right hand one. Now this is the uh, back end of the main cable as you can see. It's frayed. So I'll well, rip for if you replace one, if one's going, the rest are gonna follow suit, so no, I'm happy that I've uh, I'm replacing the whole lot, so just gotta get this main cable out, which will be fun. So let's uh, see where we are with that one once I've fitted this left hand cable. Now one thing to note is that the green end of the cable always goes on the inside. And this end is the caliper end, but you can tell by that by the by the nipple where it hooks into here. So I'll get this fitted and then we'll start uh, having a look at this uh, main handbrake cable. So with this this seat it's a it's four T40 bolts that hold it in. Two at the front two at the back just slacken them off and we'll get them out
two out, so we need to slide this seat forward and we'll get to the other two. So it's the same story at the back, undo these two and I actually started this one, I thought I got it on camera, I hadn't. So, just to... Do... Same here. Just undo this last one. And then we should be able to get the seat out. We'll be able to access the handbrake actuator, which is underneath here somewhere. Uh. That's our last bolt out, so the seat come, should come out. Yep, it does. Alright, uh, I won't show you that. But I'll show you whenever I've got the seat out of the way. So with the seat out of the way, so obviously there's the end of this is the handbrake actuator unit. I've just disconnected it for safety. And this is the end of the handbrake cable. I'm not sure how I'm gonna to get to that. Uh, probably need to move this seat right out of the way so I can get to it a bit better. Uh, see if I can get it disconnected at this end. So there's a plastic under tray that you need to get to to get to the cable. Not far to go, just got a clip to undo down here then I can start unscrewing the end of that handbrake cable I've got some slip joint pliers but if I only go any further I think I'll just clean up this mess might as well while the, the seat's all out give it a good vac I'm going to free it off at this end so it's just a matter of unscrewing this as you can see it's a lot cleaner now I've vacked up unscrewing that and pulling it through and open, I can get to it. I'm going to do it off camera because it might be a bit of a struggle. But I'm going to get it all out. So get this new one fitted and just button it all up, and that's everything done. Right, well, I thought I'd show you a little something here, and I'll, uh, well, I can't show you on there, but on the actuator, I'll show you the old cable. <sighs> and here it is. Uh, you've got this nipple and it hooks in onto the actuator and then you've got these two tabs you've got to line up push it all in screw it in and I found it easy to actually take the actuator out it's only for 10 mil notes holding it in so I managed to get it on so I'll just sort of point that out to you in case you're having to do this job uh, yeah I found out that way so just got to button it all up and then everything's done. All the failures are taken care of, and I'm going for a retest tomorrow. So I've opened up the diagnostic software. You're going to repair, and it's, there we go, the electronic brake. Go into that. See if there's any faults. Nope, no faults. So I've got to pack reparation, replacement parts, brake cable replacement. Yep, that's fine because we've replaced the whole lot. So I'll just calibrate it. Okay, so it's restarting communication. And then it's all done. Alright, 
not see if any more faults anywhere else. I did see. Right, no communication with the wiper. It's probably from when I did the suspension. We'll just try clearing that fault and see if we get our wipers working again. Right, so I think I'm done. And we'll go over there. And that's it. So, all done and dusted, and it's ready for the retest. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, share, comment and click that notification bell. As ever, thanks for watching and I'll see you there.